Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about some of the things that, well just a project update video of what's been the best so far, um, maybe throughout this year and possibly the previous year. No, but let's just keep it throughout this year that I've tested on the new setup. And uh, some things that I have done real world testing of and just, you know, I haven't released the video out just yet. Now let's go ahead and start. It's just a mixture of things and these are the things that I would totally recommend and uh, so these are the things that I would actually purchase for myself for a headache-free, beautiful quadcopter. And they range from price, from expensive to cheap. And um, they all perform, they're going to perform absolutely spectacular together or with hopefully something else. Um, so let's go ahead and start. Uh, first things first was this thing here. This is the Hack RC Betaflight F4 flight control. Now I mentioned before, Hack RC is a hit and miss product usually. And I didn't expect... Um, you know what you know i didn't expect anything out of this i just thought okay it might be just maybe average or a little bit below average but you know it performed spectacularly well and the review video i don't know if i have it linked down below but um i do have the review video of it and you could totally see it and it's going to be put on a quad very soon a very very noisy motor quad so you can actually also see the real real life testing of it but on the bench testing this performed absolutely spectacular and what you get is um you basically get everything you get a f4 flight controller with osd and i think it even has the sd card expansion yeah it has an sd card expansion current sensor uh it doesn't have a nine volt regulator on board but you know now it's going to be the new trend and um I, I everyone's going to start loving the nine volt regulator boards and we'll get into that maybe in a later, later video but these escs and the board this, this whole combo worked phenomenal so if you're looking for something cheap or like a little nice backup quad that's going to fly good and you can basically you know have faith in it then um i truly believe this is a very good purchase here 75 70 76 dollars you will get uh this setup and uh just it, it performed very well i really did like that it does have led but i don't think they have current sensor if i remember correctly so that's one thing that that i really loved another thing what came out also was the uh spedex is 30 single ESCs. not the, the former one's a piece of shit the single ESC, this one this used to be a premium ESC back in the day, but now, you know, obviously people want BL Holly 32 ESCs and there's a little bit cheaper ones that are coming out, but this one performed spectacularly well. Um, it is in the top tier of the budget ESCs. It would also be in the top tier of the premium ESCs, but because of its price, that's why it's stuck in the budget range. And um, it performed as good as the Fly Color Raptor, which is currently the best budget ESC. Both of them are basically on the same level. Uh, for ten dollars ninety, this is you know, this is not a Beale Heli thirty two. It's just a Beale Heli SESC. Uh, this performed spectacularly well and swell made. So I, I really did like this, and I'd highly recommend this one. All right, what else do we have here uh, that tested very well? Tico thirty two four and one ESC. I have it on a build. I still haven't made a video on it just yet, but this performs uh, amazing, uh, absolutely phenomenal. As you can tell, they added this copper tape here on top of it because some people were having some kind of interference in their flight controllers uh processor which was freezing uh from the electromagnetic interference or the electromagnetic field that's going on through this and uh this i guess fixed it right up but i've never had that issue before but some people said they had it so i don't know uh but i never had that issue and um even though if you had the issue now it's just well done and it has esc telemetry and this is the best four in one esc till this day that i've tested so this one's highly recommended. Oh, yeah, but something you need to take note of. You need to be careful because see, see these capacitors here? Uh, some people, when they're putting their standoffs, they assume that the manufacturer kind of took that into consideration, but these are just popping off. Once you're twisting it, and then you just, yeah, so just be very careful if at a spacer if you have to, like some kind of a, a rubber O-ring or something. Dal RC engine, second best 4 in 1 ESC, completely out of stock from Dal RC for probably a week or so. Um, they've just been selling like crazy. And um, I, 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 to be honest, they deserve to be selling like crazy because they are phenomenal. Not only that they're protected, they have a beautiful heat sink, the pads are pretty large. The um, I love it. I have It's on my two favorite quads, like the top two quads. This is their ESC. Even though the Tico is better. But the, uh, that's it, you know, I, f I just love this. I really, really, really love this ESC. It's, and it's very good in testing. It's, it's in the top three, but I think it's the second best form one ESC at the current moment of time. So this is a awesome ESC, especially when you get it with the stack, the flight controller that just sticks right on it. A beautiful, 
clean, absolutely phenomenal video feed. And um, the, the both of the filter, the, the rubber grommets here work spectacular. And um, it's, it's, it's an amazing flying quadcopter you'll get with this setup. Another thing, all the links are down below, by the way. Also, the XL is down below. Uh, these are the best budget ESCs. They're the top two best budget ESCs uh, with the Spedex. Now, the Spedex just recently jumped onto this list. This is the Spedex IS-30. Uh, so they're both almost exactly the same price. Maybe the Spedex will be a couple of dollars, three dollars more expensive than these. These come with like these protectors and all these kind of crazy cool things. And this is like a well-made uh, budget ESC, to be honest, like really well made. I really love this ESC. It's just a phenomenal little little beast, I would say. It, it took torture from a 2306 noisy motor. So I, I really uh, have beautiful hopes for this. And a lot of people agree also. Tico 32 for uh, the single ESCs. I know many of you hate hearing about this. Also, Tico 32 is out of stock, the manufacturer. Uh, they're manufacturing a new batch at the current moment of time. Um, uh, what is it? The Tico 32 is a very good ESC. I know some of you are sick of hearing it, but it's still the top ESC. I, I, that's it. It's just, it's going to be on the list for an absolute long time. I truly believe that. So that's something, uh, to take note of here. And this is the top tier, top one ESC, the best ESC. Now, some of you will say they've connected and it burnt right away. Well, I don't think they connected correctly because I've so far, I've gotten maybe like 12 of these ESCs and I've never had an issue with any of them. So, I mean, it's going to, I'm pretty sure 90% of the time it's, it's usually the builder's fault. Some wire, some, you know, solders hanging down, touch the carbon, touch the two phases, burnt that shit or burnt the motor. So, you know, it's just the builder's fault possibly. Um, the DYS Aria is also in the top three. I think it jumped down to the third instead of the second. It used to be the second. Also under restocking. That's strange. Everything's under restocking for some reason. But um, very good ESC. Um, but, you know, if you spend a dollar extra, I would rather go with the Tico 32. But they're both phenomenal ESCs. Uh, that's something for sure. I've used both of them real world testing and um, I love them. I really do love them. I actually purchased more of these. Dal RC F405 AIO, sick beast, but needs more testing. But overall, um, I would totally recommend this one. You just, it's just, it's, it's very well made. I really do like it. Dal RC did a great job. Plus, it's very well priced. It's just, you know, an average price of all on flight controller. Actually, not even like some things sell for 50 bucks that don't even perform as good. So, this is a very good all one flight controller. I totally recommend, especially for newbies. Um, and someone within, without, without, you know, the, the budget for a good ESC or they just have some terrible ESCs, you can go away with sticking it with this guy and, and hopefully be totally fine. So that's something also very good here. Also, yeah, dollars is still under stocking. SpeedyB is basically, I haven't done real world testing, but I've seen a lot of people and it seems good. Uh, the main selling point, there's two main selling points is the onboard Bluetooth module where you can connect complete through Betaflight just, you know, wirelessly through your phone and do everything you want, which is super awesome. Another thing is the nine volt regulator on board. I don't know why they don't put that there, but they have a nine volt regulator on board, which is going to be the new trend. And it's actually a must have. And the company to introduce this was actually Maytech. And then uh, they stopped doing it because, you know, that board got very bad problems because you know they were ahead of their time and a lot of people had shitty ESCs noisy motors and you know they had super sensitive gyro thus giving you yaw twitch so everyone said the board was faulty it's a piece of shit but uh, actually if you get it just right it flies better than every other board but you know that that's just the way things work so they all are using the same concept of the proper 9 volt regulator on board and this is very nice look at it it's 30 eight dollars when this is forty dollars everything else is around forty dollars but this has all these things and it's cheaper so this is a very good board i believe and this is going to go on a new budget build we have a proper premium budget build these escs also budget build holly 32 wow everything's under restocking for some reason uh these are very good escs now we need to be careful with hack rc sometimes under restocking they do sometimes change the hardware design I caught them last time, but you know, it didn't change much. It actually performed slightly better. And these are still considered best budget ESCs also. This would be like the third best budget ESC 
uh, which is well recommended also for a budget. But, um, you know, out of the best budget ESCs, if you really want a D-Shot 1200 for budget, this is what you would go for, in my opinion. But if you don't care about, you know, D-Shot 1200 and you just want a good ESC, then I would recommend to go with the Spedex or the Fly Color. Uh, those, those would be just a little bit, I think, uh, better designed, in my opinion. So, overall, these are all pretty good good these are actually all very good stuff that i would recommend like i would recommend to my brother or like my father or a cousin or whatever or just my neighbor um without a doubt in my mind and um i think those are all uh very good components here and obviously this there's other many great stuff but i haven't touched or just they just didn't stick out to me as much as these do um and you know this is this is my current list if i were to do something with like personally this is what i would this is what i trust personally so you know i'm just giving you guys my opinion obviously there might be things a lot better and um just things i never seen never touched never used never tested so i really don't know but out of you know everything i've done everything i've seen this is what i would go for myself at the current moment of time and obviously this will keep changing and then more products will be added as time goes on and as i get more things in but uh, overall, that's it. I just want to make an update video because a lot of people requested this from me. And um, I just thought it would be a... I thought it was just time for it now since I've built up a decent, you know, list here of things. And I'll leave the Excel down below. It has the links to everything. And if you could use them, those greatly support the channel. And uh, the links will also be down in the video. And um, yeah, this will be updated. I'll probably put set it up on a Google Drive and then just automatically update it. So you can just go ahead and keep checking the link every now and then. See if I added something new there. And um, should be overall pretty good. And well, that's it guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, hopefully someone found it useful. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.